I mean, guys, it literally took me 41 seconds to make 10,000 rupees. What you're seeing in the background is a quick run, and we're going to explain exactly how to make this happen. Most players would do this glitch in Tobio's Hollow Chasm if you have access, but if you don't have access, you can use the same build and perform this glitch in a regular chasm throughout Hyrule. This auto build is just a game changer for me. It's definitely a great way to get rich quick, duplicating diamonds. And this auto build is not only good for faster duplication, but it's also wheelchair accessible for your convenience and just like that you made 10,000 rupees i'm sure you guys could probably even make more and that was all in way less than a minute and now that you guys seen it in action let's go ahead and go on and make it happen to make this build you're gonna need two homing carts you're also gonna need a stake you'll need some zonite as well to make the builds the uri mountain skyview tower has everything we need hudson construction right outside and also some sloping ground very similar to the duplication area the first thing i did was take two homing carts and flip them upside down so they could serve as a conveyor belt so you just want to attach the two homing carts and then take one of the long pieces of wood from hudson construction and and you're gonna attach it to the homing cards at a 45 degree angle. This is gonna serve as our catcher for the item duplication glitch. When you're placing the wood on the homing cards, just be sure not to interfere with the conveyor belt. As long as the conveyor belt is still able to turn on, you should be straight. Be sure to go quite a bit of ways because we're gonna auto build what we just made. And now we're going to take this and we're going to attach it to what we already have. Just be sure that there's no spaces. I turned it around and lined it up this way. The next thing we're going to do is add a stake to our conveyor belt catcher. When you're placing the stake, just make sure that the pointy side is facing you. And that's mainly because we're going to be taking the whole auto build and placing it on a pillar just down the hill, taking advantage of the very similar sloping ground that we have in the item duplication area. I took one of these long planks and I placed it just in front to serve as a ramp for the items that are being duplicated coming off of the conveyor belt. Now we're going to create this very simple box to help catch the duplicated items coming down the ramp. And this is going to serve as a trap to help catch all the items that are being duplicated. I also wanted to add this ramp for a bit more convenience as far as getting up to collect the duplicated items. And we're going to take this over to the rest of our project. This here is the last piece of the puzzle. And I just attached it to the end of the ramp at the very same angle. Just a quick note, I had to maneuver the whole build around the pillars and some of the sloping ground in order to gain that leverage and keep that angle that we need that's very similar to the item duplication area and here's how it all works you see we have our catcher wide space to catch a bunch of items this gives us enough room to duplicate a bunch of items they all fall down into this area here and they get led across this conveyor belt this conveyor belt here leads to a ramp which then leads to a catcher what's dope about this as well is that you can jump right out the catcher when you turn around you're gonna see that you have a ramp for your convenience to get up into the trap area for the items that are being duplicated so this was on my bucket list for zelda tears of the kingdom i think it was a creative way to add way more efficiency to the item duplication glitch for version 112 players now i created this auto build watching other folks use auto builds for different things if you guys find a way to expand the efficiency on this auto build or if you have different ideas on how to add efficiency to the item duplication glitch please share your thoughts in the comments i want to thank you guys so much for tuning in and y'all be sure to keep it locked right here at all city 2 for a bunch more zelda tips tricks and walkthroughs i'll catch you guys on the next video or live stream easy y'all